All right. So good deal. So this one they're giving us M is negative 2 and B is 4. So the slope is negative 2. The Y intercept is 4. I want you all to... I'm going to do this two ways again. We're going to make a table and get some points and graph the points. And then we're going to find the Y intercept and do the rise over the run to get the points as well. So we'll do it both ways. We'll beat it to death. So hopefully we get some understanding here. So... We're all going to write down y equals mx plus b. Okay, so that's the standard form of your linear equation, right? The output equals the slope times the input plus the y-intercept, right? And we'll just replace the letters with numbers. So m is negative 2. So it's negative 2 times x. Don't forget your x plus 4, right? And we're going to make a little table and plug some numbers in, right? So... Um, and you can plug in any numbers you like, right? Right. So, um, yeah, just for fun, I'll suggest plug in like like a negative 1, 0, and 1 or something like that. But it doesn't matter. You guys could do 1, 2, 3 or 0, 1, 2 or 0, 5, 10 or whatever you want, right? But in any case, we get... If it's negative 1, I'll get negative 2 times negative 1 plus 4. And then negative 2 times 0 plus 4. And then negative 2 times 1 plus 4. So let's all take your time, press pause on the video, anyone watching from home, and just figure these out. All right. Okay, so I'll go over it now. So we got... Um, Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Positive 2 plus 4 is just 6. Negative 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 4 is 4. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And negative 2 plus 4 is 2. Right? right? So our points would be, and we don't have to do the ordered pairs, but I'll do it just to be to death. But you'd have x is negative 1, y is 6. You'd have x is 0, y is 4. You would have x is 1, y is 2. Right? We don't even have to write these down because they're given to us here. Look, this is the x. There's the x's. Here's the y's. So we didn't have to do that. But I just wrote it anyway because I'm the teacher and I have to write everything. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. x is negative 1. y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative 1, 6. There we go. X is 0. Y is 4. Oh yeah, I should say, you guys need to press pause on the video and plot these points and draw a line through it. That's what I need to say. Sorry. Yeah, so... So everybody, please uh, plot these points or whatever points you found. You might have put in different x values. But in any case, I want you to, at this point, graph your line. So press pause on the video and graph your line, right? All right, good. So I'll just go over real quick. So 0, 4 is here. That's 0, 4. Uh, 1, 2, x is 1, y is 2. That's there. x is 1, y is 2. That's there. And we can draw a line through these points, right? Right. Um, let's see. Is this going to be good? Yeah. So I'll draw a line through the points like that. Um, so this is just three points on an infinite line. The line goes on forever. And you guys could have come up with different points that would have been here, maybe x is 1, 2, 3, or 4, or something, you know. So it doesn't have to be the exact same three points I came up with. It could be any, but it doesn't matter because once we draw our line, all of our dots should connect, right? right. So, um, so yeah, that's the answer. That's graphing the line. And I'm going to beat this to death, and we're going to do the rise over the run as well. The rise over the run equals what over what? And the y-intercept equals 4, because b is 4, right? So I want you to write negative 2 as a fraction this way. I want you to write negative 2, so the slope or the rise over the run, this is the slope, right? Same thing, slope, right? So the slope, the rise is negative 2 over 1, right? I want you to write that way with the negative on top and the, the positive on the bottom, right? 
just because we like to run from left to right okay so we'll keep the run positive from the rise if, if there's a negative slope there we'll make sure the rise is the negative part so that we're dropping right anyhow um so if we didn't have to make a table for this we could have just found the y-intercept and done the rise over the run but i want to do it both ways just to really explain this fully right so i want everyone to find a y-intercept of four so where's four on the y-axis so if the line intercepts the y-axis at four where is that we would go at four blocks yep. perfect lovely and now we're going to run what the run one and rise negative two right so we're going to run run across one and rise negative two so go over one and down two right let me just put that up uh the camera so bad but let me just put that real up close to the camera uh, if you can all see that we went over one and down two can you all see that yeah over one down two right and in fact camera there we go in fact um, if we go over one down two over one down two over one down two we get these stairs or the rise over the runs and we can get points that way as well so I'm just gonna put this up close to the camera again and can you all see that if we're going over one and down two that's how we can get our points as well, right? Right. That's with the rise over the run. Okay with that? So the, the point, we're supposed to graph a line. And what we decided to do is make a table. And we also did the rise over the run. So we did, it, we did two things just to, to fully understand what's going on. And that's our answer. But the, the, but the question was just to graph that line, right?